Healthcare.com, you can find All right, on the way to St. Charles, the bowl, or 18 or 17 minutes. Even help you out with housekeepers, dog walkers, senior caregivers, and more. So you can find care for all you love. And 100% of caregivers who use Care.com have been background checked with CareCheck, a key first step in hiring confidently. To get the help you need to make it all work, sign up now and find a great center at Care.com. Didn't last very long, did it? Why did you do that? God damn it. Come on. God damn it. Starting route to Alley Bar Grill. Motherfucker. Five minutes and we'll cut out again. And just keeping up with things around the house. For the times when we can't be there, care.com makes it easy to find senior caregivers who live nearby and know just how to help. And since all caregivers at care.com are background checked, you can be confident that your mom or dad is getting support from someone you can trust. Find senior caregivers for your parents at care.com. Turn left onto Fergus Road. At University of Phoenix, we know you've had a master's degree in mind. But did you know that your experience can help you earn a competency-based master's in less than a year for under $11,000? Stop thinking and start doing. Learn more at phoenix.edu. When you love riding a motorcycle, you want to ride it everywhere, even to a physical. Let's check your weight. Hop on the scale. Look at that. You're down a few pounds. Oh, yeah. It must be the new carbon fiber wheels. And when you love saving money, you want to save even more. That's why GEICO makes it easy to bundle your motorcycle and car insurance. I'm going to prescribe 91 octane for your engine knock, and we'll want to see you again in 3,000 miles. Kickstart your savings with GEICO Motorcycle. Bundle and save on the things you love. New Jersey, 101.5, it's good weather. i got to tell you, not only am I looking forward to drier, brighter weather after tomorrow, but also a welcome warm-up. These temperatures are wrong. We've been about 20 degrees below normal for early October, feeling more like Thanksgiving time. Looks like rain will break apart a bit tonight. It's still going to be wet and breezy and not all that pleasant. Temperatures hold steady in the lower 50s. Scattered rain early on tomorrow. Then, in the afternoon and evening, that rain drops finally taper off. This is clearing midday. High temperatures, upper 50s tomorrow. Thursday, wow, what a difference. Mostly sunny, dry, calm, and mild. High 70 to 75. We're back in the 70s on Friday with sunny clouds. Also a chance of a little shower, especially to the north. It'll turn breezy late day Friday, too. From the Edison Heating and Cooling Weather Desk, I'm Chief Meteorologist Dan Zara. In Summers Point, it's 58. In Rocky Hill, 51. In Lacey, 57. Fast traffic and instant weather every 15 minutes on New Jersey 101.5. Like, and so then when it is working, though, then it keeps glitching. Like how? Like 
you input information. Uh, they want they want certain information. You put it in. You did it correctly. It even accepts it, and then it just goes right back to the same page. When you hit continue, it just brings you right back as if you haven't put it in. They want a lot, and they want a lot of information, and it just keeps glitching. It's like it's, 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 so. How lame is this? Because I don't want this to keep going on day after day. It's already been like two days, two and a half, really, days. I just went back in the office. I just like filled out the old fat. Yeah. What's that? Did you print it out? Yeah, I printed it out because I, I mean, like, I feel like, is anybody even going to look at that if I send it in physically and not online? But like, I don't want to keep having all the glitches. I feel like there's like one old secretary who's like 102 with glasses on a chain and her cat's eye glasses, of course, and she's off in a corner behind a big wall of cobwebs, and she's like the only one who might open that envelope and look at it. So I feel like I shouldn't even do it on paper, but I don't want it to go on for a week, you know? How do you still have to fill out? Well, I don't know, since I'm not like done with it, because I was doing it online. I mean, like, I was probably, like, I don't know, 30% through, and it keeps... At the next stop sign, turn left. So you have to fill it all up again in the written form? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know. I don't want to do it that way. I don't blame you. Yeah. It, 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 it seems like no, it just feels like no one's going to see it. Yeah. At the stop and it's sign, funny, turn because left when, uh, when computers and the internet and all that were relatively new, people felt the other way. People felt, oh, this is going to get lost if I just send it online. Right. <laughs> and now I feel like no one will open the envelope. It's funny. And then the other thing I wanted to crab about, I have no idea what these cost. I remember I told you about my key fob to my car. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was just the battery. So I changed the battery. Right and it's, 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 it's doing this weird thing. Um, where the like car alarm is like starting to go off because it's not recognizing something and I thought it was the battery dying and it turns out it's not. It's the key fob itself. I think those things are cheap. That's the thing. I don't know what they're gonna cost, but I'm having so many things go wrong with my car. My car's only seven years old. It's amazing how guys can keep a car going 20 years, 25 years, and they're out there. There's tons of them. But man. I just get so unlucky with cars. But it's running. Well, right? Well, when it's running, yeah. I mean, it stranded me that one day with the battery dying. True. But, uh, but that, that's not really bad. It was just weird. But no, I mean, it's running okay. Yeah, it's not perfect. It runs rough sometimes, but it's running okay. Can you get 50,000 more miles on it? I hope. Or more. <laughs> I, I hope. And you know it's bad, but... I know I've got a second key. I know I've got a second key. Right, because I just moved. I have no idea. You know when you move and everything's in chaos for months? Yes. Yeah, I'm in that phase. That's not my There it goes again. Business. But she believes 
government facilities and like say schools, your kids middle schools, your kids high schools, and other places, mandatorily ought to supply these for free in all bathrooms. Now, as far as private businesses, morally they should. I was talking to her about this and she was like, well, maybe not mandate it, but the other places, you know? You're going into say like uh, whatever kind of government office, it's a public building, there's a bathroom there, there better damn well be just like there's toilet paper or, or paper towels. There ought to be pads and tampons and they ought to be there for free. And do you agree with that? Yes or no? I gotta tell you, <laughs> what I was reading, and if, if they're purchased in bulk, the cost is, is, is almost nil. Yeah. Obviously, there's a cost for everything, but if you purchase them in, in you know, huge quantities, it would actually be incredibly affordable. So you couldn't really get away with uh, using cost as the, as the objection. But the only problem Son of a I bitch. Have, Son of a bitch. And she didn't really get into this part of it. Do you remember when they were talking about putting them into every bathroom in New Jersey schools and New Jersey public schools, but also in the boys' rooms? Yes. That, I think, is lunacy. The reason they were wanting to do that is because of transgender students. Right. Um, I just don't feel... I just don't feel they're going to go to the good cause intended if you start putting pads and tampons in the boys' rooms. Yeah. Like, it be right because you know what you know what boys are gonna do they're gonna play with them. right they're gonna take like you know the uh they're gonna take like the the tubes and like they're gonna be like making like walrus faces with them hanging out of their lips you see how much water they can absorb right they're gonna be like thrown all around they're i mean thrown at each other once they soak them right exactly exactly that's what's gonna happen if you put them in boys rooms but as far as girls rooms Ladies rooms, women's rooms, in all bathrooms across New Jersey. What do you think about that? Should period products like tampons and pads, should they be made available for free, rubbish. just like toilet paper is or paper towels are in all New Jersey bathrooms? Yes or no? What's your take on that? 1 800 283 101.5. 419, New Jersey fast traffic. All right, it's very busy on 287 on the southbound side coming down to Piscataway at exit 9. River Road, it's Piscataway. a crash in one lane. You get past that. More Let's delays at exit 7 down to Piscataway. 3 and along the 440. There's uh, some slowdowns to north on 287 heading up now from exit 2 up towards 4. This report is sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance where you only pay for what you need. Nobody should have to pay for one size fits all insurance coverage. Liberty Mutual customizes your car and home insurance so you only pay for what you need. 80 West and Part 70 at exit 45, a crash blocking one lane. At Beverbrook Road at exit 45. That's again on the local lanes of Route 80 West. Parkway traffic, you've got some slowdowns building up north, 142 up to 148 southbound. Uh, that's slowing through Union and again around the Woodbridge area. Turnpike, both spurs have been slow to the car. The truck lanes and again near the Gothels and leaving New Jersey under five minutes across the Hudson. Tom Rivers, New Jersey traffic north. Jill Marvin, New Jersey traffic south. So uh, we have traffic uh, pretty tough right now. Take a one and West Twins are in both directions and around the uh, Plainsboro area as well, right by Plainsboro Road. Uh, typical delays at 206 uh, both ways in Lawrenceville. 29 is uh, a little backed up coming out of the tunnel up towards South Warren and Route 1, and that's where we have that ongoing road work. They just cleared an accident at 129, and we also have some uh, slowing at 130 in the Bordentown area that's headed northbound coming in from uh, Fieldsboro and traffic is also going to be pretty slow at 295 southbound with a backup from exit 32 down through to exit 26. Watch out for slowing at Route 70 both ways at Cherry Hill at 295. New Jersey fast traffic every 15 minutes. Next report 433. From the JAG-1 Physical Therapy Traffic Desk, I'm Jill Myra, New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey 101.5 is your news, traffic, and weather first responders. Count on us for up-to-the-minute information from our award-winning news team. I'm Eric Scott, topping our report this hour. Count on us to get you around with fast traffic. Bob Williams, New Jersey Traffic Door. Jill Byron, New Jersey Traffic South. Count on us to keep you and your family safe with instant weather. I'm not Bob Williams, New Jersey 101.5, your first responders for news, traffic, and weather.
with one of the best savings rates in America. Banking with Capital One is the <sighs> easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Slash to be in your band. Next up for lead guitar. You're in. Cool. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. And with no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. This advertisement is being pulled by the Pender Ventures LLC for terms and conditions. Visit your rights. Your right. Attention, Alley Marines or anyone who spent at least 30 days at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune before 1988 and developed a serious health condition. Call to determine your eligibility for financial compensation. If you don't win, you pay nothing. Call Camp Lejeune victims Stay now at 800-839-9934. That's 800 800-8 Destination is on your right. Valley Park Wheel. Alright. 